In the previous video, we learned how to respond with HTML. We created an HTML file, used the FS module to read the file contents and piped it as a response. Now this is great for static HTML pages where the content does not change. However, you will come across a situation where you need to add some dynamic values into the HTML. For example, let's say we need to display the logged in user's name. How do we inject the username into our HTML? Well, for our understanding, we are going to use the most basic solution, which is string replacement. In this video, let's understand how to use a given HTML template and inject some dynamic values through string replacement. Within the request listener, I'm going to remove fs.createReadStream and go back to read file sync as we need to handle this a little different. First, let me declare a constant name and set it equal to the string Vishwas. This is the value that we need to display in our HTML. So in the HTML file, I'm going to add hello, double curly braces, name, welcome to node. What we now have to do is replace name in double curly braces with the name constant in our JavaScript file. And as I mentioned already, we are going to rely on simple string replacement. After reading the file contents and storing it in the HTML constant, I'm going to change const HTML to let HTML, which stores the file contents. In the next line, I'm going to update HTML to be HTML.replace and we are going to replace name inside double curly braces with the name constant Vishwas. We send the updated HTML as response. If you now save the file, restart node index, refresh the browser, we should see the expected output. Hello Vishwas, welcome to node. So we are able to create one HTML template, but have dynamic values from JavaScript. Really simple as you can see. So that is about working with HTML templates. In the next video, let's learn about routing with the HTTP server. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.